This is a 2006 SLK 350 leaking oil from the oil cooler and oil filter housing. So we're gonna remove that to replace the gasket. First thing we're gonna do is remove the intake hoses, make some space. Once you remove the intake hoses, you wanna remove the fan. Um, there is a little tab here, just be careful with that. All you wanna do is just you can grab a flathead and this tab right here, just push it back and then lift up on both ends and it'll just slide right out. The other one's right here. Forgot to mention before removing the fan, you will have to remove this hose. Just pull the tab, pull the hose up. Obviously have a bucket under it for all the cooler. And then there will also be a wire harness you will have to unplug from the fan down the bottom. Uh, that cooling gun on it but it'll be all right right there once you have the fan removed you will have to remove the drive belt with the 17 millimeter by pulling it this way remove that then you're going to remove this tension this pulley as well as the tensioner with two bolts one on top one on the bottom the thermostat and then you can remove the six bolts holding the oil filter housing in place. Remove the thermostat, um, just unplug this. And there's one bolt here, as well as one bolt, bolt right behind this. Just come right out. In order for you to remove this bottom bolt from the thermostat, you will have to remove this pulley here. It sits directly right here. You will have to use an E10 to remove it. Once you remove that, you can easily get to it. I've tried with a swivel, can't really get to it. So if you can, it'll make it easier for you, but literally it was one bolt to hold that in place. So in order to get removed this bolt, my swivel's too big. So I'm gonna have to remove the tension. There's one bolt here and one bolt here. So I'll just remove those two and we can get to this. A little trick to remove that bolt right there due to the um, tensioner being pushed in front of it without any tension. I went ahead and used that 17 millimeter, move it to the side, then place, believe that's an eight millimeter uh, bolt in a groove right behind here. Um, get a closer view once I remove it to show you. Now that I have the tension pulley removed, you can see where I placed that little bolt. It's right there. Gave me access to this bolt here. Once again, these are E12s. You can use, I don't know, this is, this is an eight millimeter, just found somewhere to use. And from there, you can now get to those two bolts. Right there, right here, and here, freely. Once those are removed, it should come right out. After removing all six bolts, it'll come right out. There you go. And now we'll replace the gaskets on the oil filter housing and the oil cooler. And obviously to remove the oil cooler from the oil filter housing, you're gonna use a T30 to remove the five bolts holding it in place. And this rubber grommet, just kind of, you can just actually squeeze it each side and just push it out really. Or use a flathead dealer's choice that'll come right out so obviously before you want to replace that gasket as well as, as well as the one here you're going to want to clean all this up scrape all that off as well as on the engine block itself so once you have the old gasket removed and cleaned out pretty well I'm just going to place the new gasket in like so. And then put the oil cooler back on. This mat, this mat, the top hole right here matches up that little stud. All right, put the screws back in place and then we're gonna torque it down. But 
uh, to about 10 foot pounds. I don't have the exact Newton meters top of my head, but anywhere from eight to 10 foot pounds would be good. And for those who say that 10 foot pounds is uh, way too much, as well as just a little reminder, if you do add an extension to a torque wrench, it does reduce the amount of torque used. So once we've torqued down our oil filter, our oil cooler gasket in place, I'm gonna go ahead and clean out the oil filter housing gasket area as much as we can. Place the new gasket in. Obviously it only goes one way. And then reinstall this to the engine block. We're gonna torque it down to 15 foot pounds. And then from there, reassemble. Once we have the oil filter housing torqued back down and in place, we're gonna reinstall the tensioner, as well as the thermostat. Be sure to replace this gasket. However, this thermostat was just replaced two weeks ago, so we're just gonna put a little silicone around it and then torque it down to 10 foot pounds. Then put this fully back in drive belt, uh, the fan, and the radiator hose back in place as well as intake hose, and we'll be done. All right, now that we have everything back in place, oil filter housing, oil cooler, gas to replace, tensioner reinstalled, thermostat reinstalled, and it's fully reinstalled, we're gonna put the drive belt back on, same method. Uh, I'll leave a picture of how the drive belt looks at the end of this video so you can use as a reference. We're going to put the fan back in, put the radiator hose back on, and then rip, top off the coolant as well as the oil to just replace anything that was lost. Uh, this car specifically uses blue coolant, so just make sure you match up what coolant you're using.